Hello everybody, welcome back to Pinkies, Kids vs Adults uh, with Imagine Outdoors. This week, a bit of a history lesson, we're going to be going back in time and we're going to be creating a game called Rocks vs Leaves. This is an age old tradition that has now developed into our modern culture and you might think it's like another game and it kind of is, but this is the original type. And it's very exciting. We're joined again by Matt, um, who's the lead uh, volunteer at the Orchard. Let's say hello to Matt. Uh, Matt? Matt, are you there? Ah! <laughs> hello, Pinky. Matt here. I'll cut back to you and you can talk about the home stuff. Then come back and we'll talk about the outside stuff. See you in a minute. Ah, there he is. Good. I'm glad he's okay. Uh, we'll cut back to him in a little bit. There's lots of gathering stuff today, uh, so that's really good. But let's start with the things you need from home today. So today for your home craft, you're going to have to find yourself a paintbrush. You're going to need some paint. You will also need, as attached there, a good amount of string. You will also need some scissors. And last but no means least, something to paint things on. All right, so they're the things you're going to need from home. Um, let's cut back to Matt uh, from Nuki Orchard, and he's going to tell you what you need to get from the outside to bring back home to you. All right, Matt, what's going on? Right, guys, it's time for a walk, and the sun is still shining. Yeah! Today we are looking for certain things. We are looking for six sticks and six rocks, all of an average size. So let's start with uh, some sticks. Let me look around. Do, 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 do. Ha, ha, a stick. So your sticks today, you probably don't want them any thicker than your pointy finger, and you probably don't want them any longer than your finger to your elbow, all right? Uh, the reason you want six sticks, by the way, is two of them are spare in case something goes wrong. Um, so when Pinky's talking later, um, you will see that he will have four sticks in his thing, uh, but you're going to need six, so two are spare. So six sticks, no thicker than your pointy finger, and as long as your finger to your elbow. Once you've got six of them, you want to then start looking around on your walk. Good places for rocks are footpaths, they're genuinely quite good, or in hedgerows and stuff like that. But be wary of the badgers, all right? So you're looking for six rocks, probably about this thick, all right? And you want to keep hold of them so they fit in your pocket. If they're too big for your pocket, then they're too big. If they're bigger than your head, they're way too big. If they're smaller than your little fingernail, they're definitely too small, all right? So there you go, six sticks, six rocks, ready for a game of leaves versus rocks. Let's cut back to Pinky. Hello, Matt. Um, isn't this game called Leaves and Rocks? And, um, you haven't told me what leaves to get. What leaves should I get? I'll cut straight back to you. All right, mate. Bye. Hi, Matt. Leaves. Oh, we're playing rocks versus leaves, not rocks versus rocks. Okay. Right, guys. Come a bit closer. Are you ready? Let's see what leaves we can find. All right, so if you've got six sticks and six rocks, you might want some leaves. It's up to you what kind of leaves you get. There's different types. There's smooth leaves and there's prickly leaves. There could be, oh, that's a smooth leaf. You could go for ground leaves, okay? It could be also known as grass. Uh, that's quite good. But um, yeah, you can decide what kind of leaves you want to get. I highly recommend feeling as many different leaves as you can. But top tip for picking leaves, make sure you only take one per stem. So if I was going to take one from here, okay, I would only take one. And I'd keep hold of that, and then I'd go somewhere else, and I'd pick another one. Um, something that's really nice, have a little smell. Mmm, get really close to nature. All right, we've remembered the leaves now, Matt. Um, so I'm Matt, remember that, I remember that. So let's pass back to Pinky and see what he's going to make. I'm very excited, Pinky. Thank you, Matt. What a lovely guy. He looks so handsome. I love the way he looks with his nice coloured hair and his crazy beard. But his t-shirt's not as nice as mine. <clears throat> okay, so you've been out and about 
and you've collected some things. Uh, we've gone for a shiny waxy leaf. You might have decided to get um, a slightly hairier leaf or something gross like that or a spiky leaf. Um, also, we've got a nice shiny rock. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to get your leaf and you're going to get your rock and you're going to paint them a fabulous colour. I've got blue and I've got red. Um, so I'm just going to paint those guys. You're going to want to paint your stuff first. The reason being, this is going to dry when we do our next exercise, okay? So we'll paint our red rock. I'm going to have red rocks, all right? Uh, and then I'm going to have blue leaves. So I've got red rocks and blue leaves. Okay, once they're all painted, what you're going to want to do is take them and put them somewhere to dry. So I've put my red rocks and my blue leaves on a piece of cardboard like this. There you go. And I put them in my airing cupboard. That was quite a good place. Or it's been super hot recently. You can put them in the sun and that'll dry nicely. So they're out of the way. They're gone. And now we need to concentrate on our next bit. So what you're going to want to do is get your sticks. Now you should have six sticks. I've got two here to demonstrate. Make sure before you start that all your sticks are the same size. You might have done this out when you're walking or you can do it when you get home. But now we need to learn Pinky's Knot of the Day. So we're going to learn a knot now called the square lashing. All right. So the idea is with these two sticks, we're going to make this shape. All right, so they're joined together. If you've been on any of my other stuff, you might have done this before, but let's go through it. So what we need to do, we need to zoom in. So put your binoculars on, okay? And now we're gonna zoom in to learn about this knot. All right, guys, so we've zoomed in with our binoculars. The first thing we need to do is get our string the right length. So a good guide is our A4 piece of paper. So I would say your string needs to be three times the length of a piece of A4. So you've got yourself a nice piece of string. What you're then going to want to do is get your sticks and lay them down. And probably about, oh, I don't know, a third of the way down. Lay across your stick so you look like this and use that as a guide. And what you're going to do with your string, using any knot you like, and I, like I say, any knot is a good knot here, you're just going to tie a loose string to the bottom stick. The important thing is that it's the bottom stick. All right, and this is going to be the beginning of our square lashing, just like that. Now it's just a simple case of weaving. Any stick on the top, the string's going to go over. Any stick on the bottom, the string's going to go under. Okay, so it goes under, over, under, over. So remember, if the stick is on the top, the string goes over. And if the stick is on the bottom, the string goes under. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that process over and over and over again. All right, let's say ooh, three or four times. Just make sure that every time you go around, you're pulling the string nice and tight. Okay, you'll be at a point like this. And what you're going to do now is take your string and you're going to give all the other string a big hug. So you take it and you wrap it around there. I didn't go around any sticks there. I went around string. So you go around and you pull tight. Okay, you'll be left with a big tail, but that's okay. And then to finish off, you go over the top stick and you pull it through like so and that my friends is that with this little bit of ending get your scissors that you put somewhere safe and you're just going to snip the tail off and there you go right take your binoculars off and let's look at what the next bit looks like okay so you've tied your knot and here we have it so you should have this all right now what you're going to have to do is repeat that process um one two three more times and the shape you're going to end up with is this grid. All right, so you should end up with this grid. This is your rocks and leaf square. All right, and then what you're going to do in like the uh, Stone Ages people of old, you're going to have yourself a good old game of leaves versus rocks. Whoever wins is obviously the winner. And this week, if you want to, you can have a prize of a lifetime supply of oxygen. <laughs> That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? All right. Um, right, let's call Matt up. Matt, are you ready for a game? Thanks, Pinky. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would love a game of um, leaves versus rocks. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trash it. I'm coming. Here I. I'm coming right now. Here I come. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Come on over. We'll have a quick play. Okay, guys. Let's watch me and Matt play a game of leaves versus rocks. 
Okay, this is Pinky's hand with the anchor. This is Matt's hand with no anchor. What a Matt. So, Matt to go first. Okay. Blue leaf. Pinky to second. Red rock. Matt. Blue leaf. Red rock blocks. Blue leaf down. Red rock wins. Yeah! I am the winner. I am the winner, winner. If you didn't notice, I was Red Rocks and I won. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for another uh, Kids vs Adults craft. So much fun uh, was had by all. I shall see you again soon for another a wonderful thing. It's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Matt. Say goodbye, Matt. Bye, everybody.